So, um, I got a question. Um, you play several different versions of Alice. What has been your favorite, and what, how did you go from just Alice to Nick and Alice? Like, how did you kind of prepare yourself for that? I, I feel so lucky on this show that I got to, I, you know, I fell in love with regular Alice in the books, and I knew who she was right away when I read the books. And and when I knew I was going to be a Niffin, which I was so excited that I wasn't just going to be fucking dead for like two seasons, <laughs> I was like, this is a great opportunity to explore this sweet person that I fell in love with, all the nasty sides of her. And, and they let me do whatever I want, really. They kind of wrote fun stuff, and I got to paint the picture that I wanted of what this Niffin was like, and I could have gone crazier or, you know, more manipulative, but I tried to keep Alice's soul somewhere in there, and I had so much fun doing it. I tortured the hell out of Jason Rowell. I would poke him before every take or blow in his ear or, or trip his feet or pinch on anything to, like, drive him nuts, which was really fun. Um, I love playing Crazy Nip and Alice. That's so much more my wheelhouse, um, but it was even more fun to do it with a character that I love and knew so well. I just started shooting this week, so yeah. it's so it's so fresh, and I'm just reading the script right now. And I mean, Alice is really angry. I mean, we get to play such strong females on this show, which is why I love it, why I wanted to sign on for it, and I really fucking love magic. But um, <laughs> I think this season she's really mad that this man brought her back to Earth and made her a human and told her what she was supposed to be. So I think there's there's a side of Alice that's angry as a woman that somebody controlled when she, she was learning to be the most powerful thing in the in the universe. And it, she's very pissed off. Uh, but now she's forgetting what it's like to be an infant as well, and she's becoming human. So I'm kind of going backwards and shifting gears into being a human again this season, which is fun and tricky and challenging. And, you know, I don't know, man. We just started shooting. <laughs> There's a version of her that got, went off and was a Niffin, I think, I hope, in my head. And that it could have been 50 years as a Niffin. So, you know, we left off wondering, there's all the lamprey business that we know nothing about. What did she do? How did she piss off the lamprey? So I'm hoping this season we get to find out some juicy stories about that. And um, I don't know, I love playing angry Alice, manipulative Alice. It's fun. She's very smart, and Niffin only made her smarter. So your character was relearning magic anyway, yeah. um, and I'm assuming that as far as we know so far in season three, you guys are going to be without magic for a while. Like, what's it like so far playing that? Or what do you see for Alice's character having to play? Right now it's really depressing and dark. I mean, uh, she hated magic. She was born into it. It's something that she, it's always bothered her, and it's a necessity, I guess, but... You know, over the course of two seasons, we learned, we watched her have a relationship with magic, fall in love with magic on a new level, and she became Niffin. So it's really hard and depressing for her right now because she wants magic now. She doesn't just want to live a normal life. She doesn't like being a human. It's disgusting to her. But she is one. So I don't know. I, I, I'm curious to see, to explore something like a midlife crisis, or I mean, I guess a quarter life crisis, but between magic and a human being. So. Yeah, she just wants magic back, and she wants off this planet. She probably wants to kick Quentin in the balls. <laughs> um, but I don't know, yeah. They give us such complex stories and characters and kind of let us do the inner workings. They don't really write it. They let us explore it as actors, which is really wonderful about this show. Like, we can make very, like, specific acting choices in a scene, like a look or just anything, and they let us have that as the choice. I don't know if that makes sense, but as an actor, it's a gift that we don't just have to be like, all right, in this scene, you're angry, in this scene, you're like this. They're like, well, how would you feel in this scene, you know, which is lovely. In the panel, they showed you guys with the boat this season. Yeah. Has that been a challenge to film? And I guess because you're, you're in much tighter quarters than you normally would be on. I haven't gotten to be on the boat yet. Um, we just started shooting, and we don't start shooting boat stuff till this week, honestly. Uh, but the interior of the boat is going to be a set that's much larger. 
it's uh, imaginable. Good. Good. <laughs> um, I don't know. I get seasick, so I bought a bunch of Dramamine, and I'm hoping for the best if I'm on the boat. But yeah.